All right, what do you think we should do here? We have a square root. How do you undo square roots? We said square both sides. So to eliminate roots, raise both sides to the second power, and then do everything that we've been doing before. So square both sides. Squaring the square root gets rid of the root. So that'll be 6 plus x. What about 2x minus 3 bracket squared? That's 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. So that's going to give you 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So let's put it together. 6 plus x equals 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. We can't solve until you have 0 on one side. So subtract, bring 0 on one side, and now factor. So let's bring for my only column 4x squared minus 13x plus 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12, two numbers multiplying to give you 12, adding to give you negative 13. So negative 12 and negative 1, right? And then again, go ahead and if you're having trouble factoring, you know what you have to do. Go back and work on factoring. If you don't know how to factor, you cannot do these problems. All right, once you have the factors, then set each factor to 0, solve for x. And those are your answers. But because, remember what we said, we got rid of a root. We squared both sides, so you might lose some information. So what do we have to do? Check your answers. So let's check. If you put x equals 3, 6 plus 3 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. So 3 equals 3. So that works out, doesn't it? All right, so x equals 3 works out. Let's try the quarter. 6 plus a quarter equals 2 times a quarter minus 3. Does that work? Let's take a look. 6 plus a quarter would be 25 quarters, which would be 5 halves. And 2 times 1 quarter is half. Half minus 3 is negative 5 halves. And 5 halves is not the same as negative 5 halves, so that one does not work. This is called an extraneous solution. So just x equals 3 is our solution. And x equals quarter is an extraneous solution. All right, again, we have a fraction, so what should we do? Well, first of all, factor that quadratic denominator. And remember this. This bottom is 0 when x is 7 halves, and this bottom is 0 when x is 1. So right away, you know 1 and 7 halves cannot be solutions because they make denominator 0. Those are the restrictions then on this equation here. All right, so let's factor the denominator where we factor by grouping, and you will get these factors. So put them back. Remember what we said about fractions. If you have fractions, make equivalent fractions so that we can compare them. So we need a common denominator. So on this side, we have 2x minus 7, x minus 1. Here we only have x minus 1, so we'll have to multiply top and bottom by 2x minus 7. Let's look over here. Here we have 7 minus 2x, which is the same as negative 2x minus 7. Why? Because negative times 2x is negative 2x. Negative times negative 7 is positive 7. So in order to have 2x minus 7 as your common denominator, you have to get rid of this negative. So that means multiply numerator denominator by negative 1. And then we're also missing the x minus 1 factor. All right, let's multiply the numerators out then. So this negative 1 times 3 minus x is negative 3 minus x. And then this is the rest of it. All right, so now we have two fractions equaling each other because they have the same denominators. The only way they're going to be equal to each other is if the numerators are equal to each other, which is that. So now you know what to do. Multiply it out. So negative times 3 is negative 3. Negative times negative x is positive x times x minus 1. And then here we have this. Multiply it out, then term by term. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. Here we have 3x squared plus 7 plus 
x times 2x is 2x squared. x times negative 7 is negative 7x. 1 times 2x is 2x. And 1 times negative 7 is negative 7. OK, add like terms here. Can you see how we got that? Here we have x squared. Negative 3x minus x gave me negative 4x. And here we have plus 3. Here we have 2x, uh, 3x squared plus 2x squared giving you 5x squared. Plus 7 and minus 7 give you 0. Negative 7x plus 2x gives you negative 5x. All right. Now, remember, we cannot solve unless you have 0 on one side. So let's bring all these terms to the other side. So subtract x squared, add 4x, subtract 3, and add like terms. Now, factor that. You can see how if you could not factor, you would be in big trouble here. All right, put it back then and solve. So product of two things getting 0, that means either this is 0 or this is 0. Subtract 3 and divide by 4. And x equals 1 is going to be extraneous solution. Why? Because remember what we said. We cannot have denominator being 0. So denominator becomes 0 if x is 1 or 7 halves. And x equals 1 then is not going to work because our restriction was x cannot be 1. Try these on your own.